Dearly beloved, we've gathered here today to celebrate the love and legal binding of Eve Elizabeth Viner and Chase Alexander Black. Uh, it is a love that these two have shared since February 8, 2016. For those of you counting, that's 1,706 days of pure, unadulterated, and I quote, dealing with each other's bullshit. Sorry, that must have came from a different speech. Uh, <laughs> it is within these four years, eight months, and two days that they have proven the old saying that love is patient, love is kind. But I think the biggest takeaway from watching them grow together for the last 147,308,548 seconds is that love has no place for ego or pride. They've shown time and time again that the truest way to make a relationship work is honest, open communication about not just what you do, but also who you are at your core. To remain so vulnerable with your souls cracked open, allowing each other to dance in those spaces with reckless abandon. That is an amount of trust and respect for who each other are that even the most successful relationships envy. When we watch TV and movies, uh, we occasionally look to the relationships within those worlds to gain perspective uh, or simply get advice about our own. Uh, examples like uh, Topanga and Corey, uh, Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks, uh, Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal, <laughs> Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks three more times. If you can believe it. Uh, and the last most applicable example, in, in my opinion, is, is Marshall and Lily. As soon as we sign these papers, we get to add one more couple to that list. About eight months ago, the biggest and most important relationship of my life ended. And honestly, I blame these two. I blame <laughs> Chase and Eve. And it's not about, it's not about uh, what they said or did uh, about the relationship. Oh, you guys can sit down, by the way. I'm so sorry. You guys, can, you guys can take a seat. Please, please sit. 
we're gonna be here. I got an hour of time. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's not because of anything they did or said about the relationship. Uh, but at some point, I took a look at myself and realized I wasn't happy. Chase and Eve are happy. Why can't I have that? The truth is, Chase and Eve saved me from a lifetime of unhappiness just by being who they are. <laughs> not, not only are Chase and Eve hashtag goals, <laughs> but they are and deserve to be the benchmark for every healthy, sustainable relationship from here on out. We absolutely all deserve the same love that Chase and Eve share. And nothing less. Of course, it's not always easy. It hasn't been. Every BuzzFeed quiz and astrological advice has told them it won't work. That the chances of them having any sort of success is next to nothing. She's a Leo. He's a Scorpio. She's fire. He's water. He's tall. She's short as hell. <laughs> She's white and his last name is black. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work. But despite, but despite, despite these differences the universe has given them, these two have managed to overcome any and all obstacles that the universe has thrown their way. And what better way to prove to the universe that they don't need it than to hashtag rewrite the stars and dedicate their lives to the continuance of growth strength, and most of all, laughter. Four years ago, Chase invited a girl he barely knew for tacos. Little did he know that those tacos would change the course of their lives forever, but also mine. And every single person, <laughs> but every single person lucky enough to come in contact with him. Every single person here is better because you two exist. Chase, Eve, I love you guys. I love you guys. Cheers. It's not as smooth as I as I, as I previously planned. Almost there. Almost there. Right, you want some? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, tap, tap, tap water. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even going to bother with that anymore. Okay. <laughs> that was the end of my speech. Can you believe it? Crazy. But now, now the unity ceremony. Absolutely. The unity ceremony and the elemental blessing of the ring are not only unifying Chase and Eve, but also their relationship with the universe they live in. As I mentioned, fire and water are normally I immiscible. But these two use that same energy to paint their own way right and create the their first own world. Of the ring. As I said before, this is 
This is tying their relationship to the universe around them. On the table we have incense for air. And air is the beginning of all things. It is the direction of east and the dawning of a new day of new hopes and dreams. May your lives be blessed with the continuing renewal of love. May the elements of air bless these rings. Next we have fire, represented by a candle. Fire is the passion within your love, the spark of love itself, the heat of anger, and the warmth of compassion. It is the direction of north, the heat of midday. May your lives be blessed with continual warmth. May the elements of fire bless these rooms. And next we have water, represented on the table with water. May the element of water bless these rings. Water, water nourishes and replenishes us. The waters of emotion and harmony pour vitally into our lives. This is the direction of west, the, after, the afternoon and the evening. May your lives be blessed with fulfillment and contentment. And next we have earth represented on the table by just some dirt we found. <laughs> May the element of earth bless these rings. All life springs from the earth and returns to the earth. It is the direction of south, the time of night. May your lives be blessed with strength and solidity. Now, these two shall make their promises to each other. I have mine. <laughs> oh, do I need the mic? Testing. Testing. I wrote. <laughs> My dearest Eve, you are everything to me. From Chicago and lacrosse and everywhere else in between, it's always been you. And because it's always been you, my life has gone from average to magically whimsical and exciting beyond my imagination. As we grow together, I vow to always guide and push you to be the best version of yourself. As we grow together, I vow to hand you the microphone when you need to be heard. And as we grow together, I vow to share my spirit with you every step of this adventure. I love you so much. And as long as I live and breathe, I vow to be the best of you.
first handwritten love note. From the very first, I love you. My body and mind and my spirit felt truly aligned and knew this love was powerful and nothing like I've ever known before. And with this love, I vow to always support your passionate, amazing, and wonderful pursuit in our life together. I I vow to always tend to you to have tacos and Italian cheese and mac and cheese bites for dinner. Um, <laughs> I vow to always be your adventure buddy, whether it's 3 p.m. or 1.43 p.m. I vow to always pursue and try to convince you to wear a couple's hockey with me on your birthday. <laughs> From now on, never go ahead of you in a TV show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all doing a very good job. <laughs> this is being recorded. <laughs> Eve Elizabeth Viner, do you take this man to have and to hold in sickness and in health for the rest of your life? Very good. Chase. Alexander Black, do you take this woman to have and to hold uh, in sickness and in health for the rest of your life? Very good. I kiss the bride.
Here we go. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, that would have been a whole thing. Dude, I could not. I just kept coming. I bet because you could see your face. Skylar, you want to come in?